Well, good Friday morning to you folks. Hopefully things are going well with you. I hope you had a good night's rest and you are ready to face the day. Um, I'm going to read to you from, um, I preached last night up to Chapel Hill up in Waverly and I used uh, this text. And so uh, I'm going to uh, read just a little bit from it in the book of John in chapter 4. Verse 5, Then cometh he to a city of Samaria, which is called Sychar, near to the parcel of ground that Jacob gave to his son Joseph. Now Jacob's well was there, and Jesus, therefore being wearied with his journey, sat thus on the well, and it was about the sixth hour. There cometh a woman of Samaria to draw water, and Jesus saith unto her, Give me to drink. For his disciples were gone away into the city to buy meat. Then saith the woman of Samaria unto him, how is it that thou, being a Jew, askest drink of me, which am a Samaritan, or a woman of Samaria? For the Jews have no dealings with the Samaritans. Jesus answered and said unto her, If thou knewest the gift of God, and who it is that saith to thee, Give me to drink, thou wouldest have asked of him, and he would have given thee living water. Of course, last night I read a lot more than that. <laughs> But I just want to uh, just want to say when Jesus said to her, if you knew who it was that you were talking to. And I would like to say to you today, how are the folks around us going to know unless we tell them? Jesus isn't here physically. But there are people stopped at every well you come to. There are people that are looking for something to satisfy their thirst, to quench that thirst. And yes, just like we were, they are sinners. They may have sin that's unconfessed in their lives, may have things that maybe they're ashamed of, maybe they're not. Maybe just the world has shamed them, but no matter what, there are people all around us that are looking, looking for something they're thirsty but they don't know they don't understand they're they're hungering for something but they don't know neither did you neither did i if you're watching this today and you are uh, a not just a believer in christ but if you've been born again if you're watching this uh, somebody said the other day that satan is a believer but he's not saved and so we understand that that it takes when jesus said to her if you would have asked me, I would have given you living water. She was amazed that he knew everything about her. And why wouldn't he? <laughs> he made her. He is God in the flesh with us. And so when he was looking at her, he saw something that no one else saw. That none of the men she'd ever been with, none of them saw it. None of the family members that she ever had that used to love her and now shunned her, none of them saw it. None of the disciples that were there with him that day when they came back, none of them saw it. But he saw something in her uh, worth saving. And there's people all around us today the same way. So we got to tell them, right? So be sure you tell them. This song is uh, written uh, years ago in my in my mother's handwriting. I would believe. I don't know if she'd be able to see that, but uh, but this is out of my dad's songbook. It was in there for years. Uh, I've heard a lot of other folks sing it, and I've listened to other folks sing it, but uh, we'll give it a shot today. There came a sound from heaven As a rushing mighty wind It filled their hearts with and gave them peace within. The prophet gave this promise, the Spirit will descend, 
And from your inner being A river with no end There is a river That flows from deep within There is a fountain that saves the soul from sin. Come to this water, there is a vast supply. There is a river that never shall there was a thirsty woman who was drawing from a well. Her life was ruined and wasted. Her soul was bound for hell. Then she Who told of her great sin And if you drink this water You'll never thirst again There is a river That flows There is a fountain that frees the soul from sin. Come to this water, there is a vast supply. There That never shall run dry. Lord, I thank you for the day you've given us. And God, I pray that you would watch over and bless. Lord, you know to God the needs, Lord, of each and every one that hears this today. Lord, I pray to God that you would bless. Lord, I do pray to God for um, the... Uh, um, the area that I was raised in, Lord, and that community of that school where Teresa and I and our children graduated from. God, I, I pray for that community there that you would bless them today as they are trying to deal with the loss of uh, someone dear to them. Lord, I pray to God that you would encourage and strengthen them. If there be any of those folks that watch this today, help them to know that they are loved and cared for. We love you, Lord, and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, folks. See you Saturday.